The tenth principle has to do with the dance, dancing with death, dancing without death. So much power is lost because of our conscious or unconscious fear of death. Death is not the opposite of life, it's a part of life, a subset of life. Often when we talk about our will, we talk about what we're intending after we die. So how we're intending our money to be distributed, how, how we're intending, you know, what, what, we would, what our wishes are. And yet, if as Rumi advises us, we don't wait to die to die, that we die while we're alive, we get used to dancing with death, then our will becomes something that is expressed in our life, not after our death. How we spend our money, how we spend our lives is part of a cosmic tapestry that is far greater than our cradle-to-grave earth walk. In order to truly live, we have to have transcended our death. We have to have accepted our death and, and used it to sweeten our life, to really feel into the miracle of our existence here and how precious it is to live. And no one's ever ready for their death. They always want a little more time. And yet drawing a line, accepting imperfection, accepting that this is the life that we have led and that it is beautiful with all its imperfections. Dancing with death is also about letting things end, letting things go. And in a consumer society, you know, we pay a lot of attention to what comes in and not much attention to what goes out. But deathing, ending, is a very important spiritual practice. So we don't finish things, that we don't complete things, whether it's a, a thought form or a sentence or a relationship. If we don't pay attention to our exits, to our endings, then the new birth can't, can't come. And we are, we are at that point in a civilization where an ending needs to occur. We need to end the type of consciousness and the way of life, you know, the immature, way of life of a species that has been dependent upon this planet for its resource and and begin a stage of maturity a stage of maturity where we're able to love and be loved and express our divinity in a way that all kingdoms on this planet planet begin to flourish